Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November 29th of 2022. Well, it is titled the Gum Nebula Supernova Remnant. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of a supernova remnant. And you might ask where it is in this image. And let's go ahead and label a few things here so we can identify where that is. Now, the gum nebula is an example of a supernova remnant. And you see that reddish color, kind of just a very vague outline of a shape that is present off to the right hand side. Now that's because it is very large and it's very hard to see simply because it is so close covering nearly 40 degrees in the sky. And if you think about that going from the horizon to the zenith straight overhead is 90 degrees. So this is tremendous in size because it is relatively close and in fact is the closest supernova remnant that we have. And here we see the red emission color of that nebula as imaged here in the Chilean desert. Now it's not the only thing that we see in this image. We also see down below another galaxy and that is the large Magellanic cloud, which is one of the satellite galaxies of our own Milky Way. So this is a galaxy that orbits around the Milky Way, uh, much as Earth orbits around our sun. And we can see part of our Milky Way up towards the top there, and including the very bright Carina Nebula. And this is an example of a very large star forming region. And uh, very prominent and a lot of these objects that we see here, especially the large Magellanic cloud are objects visible in the southern hemisphere. You have to be south of the equator in order to be able to see the large Magellanic cloud. And that's because of how far south it is from northerly latitudes. It will never get up above the horizon. So just as in the north, we have some objects like the North Star or even the Big Dipper that are always visible, always up above the horizon. There are objects that never get up above our horizon. And depending on how far the further north you are or further south, the smaller a percentage of the sky that you see. So an observer on the equator would really get to see the entire sky and an observer at either of the poles would get to see half of the sky and in between you would see only portions of the sky. So you would never be able to see all of it. So you get to see some objects all the time making them permanently visible and other objects you would never get to see from that latitude. So here we get to see a star forming region. That is the Carina Nebula. We see another galaxy in our local group, the Large Magellanic Cloud. And we see the nearest supernova remnant to us here on Earth. And that is the Gum Nebula. So that was our picture of the day for November 29th of 2022. It was titled the Gum Nebula Supernova Remnant. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.